So changing direction. Instead of doing this, because you have to, we're just going to use this as the line, right? So the line is turf, the, the line of the turf. I have to go back that way. Start with back that way. So I need to touch the line with one foot and one hand. So instead of going like this, turning and running, which is slow, watch what I'm going to do. I'm going to show you from the back side then the front side. Once I get to about here, I'm just going to punch my leg out, same hand, and then go. Now obviously I did that, so it's here. I did that a little slower for the sake of instructions. Here's what it looks like from this side. So again, instead of going here, down, because now I gotta stand up and turn and go. Once I get, you gotta practice this, to about my distance, I'm jogging, I'm jogging, I'm jogging, I punch my leg like this. This hand hits the line, boom. Now look, I'm already at the right angle to accelerate back. So here's what the drill looks like if you're gonna practice this, watch. If I wanted to change direction that way, it would be punch, go. So you would be keeping your torso still and you would switch. This is a speed drill I learned 20 years ago and I'm sure it's much older than that. For specifically for change of direction. So as you're doing your sprint, you run, punch, look, same hand leg, touches, and I'm already at my angle to accelerate. Last point is there's a, a crossover that happens. So I get here, I punch, drive off this leg here, cross, and off you go. Let me show you from the other direction. So I get to the line, jump, cross step, and you go. You'll see the same thing happen at the NFL Combine when they do any sort of change of direction drill.